Hi, I'm Jason with Tormach. Today we're going to do a project on our 15L lathe using the lathe profiling tool pad. So I found this bar of stainless steel. Let's make a snowman. All right, so we're on Pathpilot 2.0. We're in the conversational tab. We're going to go to profiling. So in this tool pad strategy, we can create our geometry point to point. So we're just going to put in some parameters here. We're actually just going to kind of doodle. We're just going to kind of create this geometry as we go. It's really one of my favorite things to do on the lathe. It's just fun to walk over here and just put in a bunch of numbers, make something that looks cool and to run it. Um, so let's make a snowman. So we're going to start out, we have a four inch, I'm sorry, this is a three inch diameter piece of stainless steel. Um, I have, it's 4.1 inches long. I was going to make the snowman about four inches long. Um, so we'll go, just go ahead and say we have 50 thousandths on the face. We're going to set our tool clearance diameter to 3.1 inches. And our Z clearance we'll just set at 100 thousandths. Our tool number we're going to use for this project is tool 2. It's a 35 degree diamond um, mounted in a right hand holder. So you can see the tool geometry right here represents um, our 35 degree diamond. If we want to edit or change that, we can come under our tool geometry tab and you can see that we have a 80, minus 87 degree, which gives us three degrees of clearance. This is what our holder has built into it. And then we're 87 minus the 35 gives us 52 degree back angle. So that defines our insert geometry with three degrees of clearance and a 35 degree insert. The last thing I want to verify before I get started is my corner radius on my insert. So I'll go to my offsets tab, go to the offsets table. I'll look at tool number two. Um, we'll go ahead and divide this as a 35 degree um, diamond. And then we will come under our nose radius. We do have a, it's a number one radius or a 15 thou. So we do have the correct geometry in here. So let's jump back to conversational. We'll go back to our profiling. And now we just get to create the geometry. I have a three inch bar. I'm holding up my caliper. 1.4 inches sounds like a great diameter for a hat. So we'll start on our X value. I'm just gonna draw the basic profile in now. So we'll just go ahead and start at 1.4 inches. Our Z position is gonna be zero. And as you can see, once we start creating this geometry, we start getting this little yellow profile here as we work through it. So from here, I'm actually going to change my Z value already. I'm going to come back up and take the Z back to a minus half inch. So you can see we're going to cut a diameter there. Then we will come up a little bit for the brim. So we'll come up to 1.5 inch. And we'll stay at that minus 0.5. And you'll notice if we don't fill in a dialog box here, it just assumes it's the same value. So you don't have to retype the same numbers over and over. Um, so from here, we'll keep it at the 1.5. We'll go back 100 thou. And looking at that, I'd like that brim to be a little bit taller. So we'll come back up here and go back to, uh, you know, say 1.7. And then we'll come down to our next step. We'll go ahead and come down a little bit. Should be real similar since it's a hat. So we'll go back to 1.4. And you can see what we get here is Pathpilot's telling us this line is red. So it's saying, I can't create that geometry with the tool we have selected. So I'm just going to bump this number back until it turns yellow so that I can machine this part. Um, so we'll just go back to minus 0.7. You can see we still don't quite have it. Um, so we'll try 750. And now we have a yellow line and it's got enough clearance for our tool to be to create that for us. So I'm going to go ahead and enter some values back in. I'm going to keep the diameter real similar to the hat. So I'll go 1.5 inch diameter. I'm going to go back to, let's just say minus inch and a half, and I'm going to put a radius value in. So if I put a positive radius value in, it's going to give me the negative or the female version of the, the radius. And if we put the negative value in, so we'll just say like a minus one inch radius. Looks okay. Let's just play with it a little bit here and see what we like. Um, I like that. Looks like a nice snowman head. So from here, we'll go ahead and we'll add in the next. All right, so I'm just still playing with these numbers here to see if I can find something I like. Um, this is the fun part, but also the annoying part because you can sit here and play with this forever. Um, point six five. Point 
So we'll try that, see how it comes together. Then we'll bump our snowman diameter up for the center section here. And we'll go up to, uh, let's just say, two and a quarter inch diameter, and we'll bring this back to minus 1.6, minus 0.75. You can see that we can do math right inside of the dialog boxes here as well, which is a pretty convenient thing to have. So we'll go ahead and do this one as like half the center section, then we'll try to We'll do this as this, the front section here, and then we'll try to add the back section in and see how this works out for us. Um, so we'll bring this down a little bit to like a 1.9. And we'll go back 2.35 minus 0.75. And we'll do our same radius. We got like a weird little center section there. Hey, there we go. What we can do is we can come up to this front line and we can go ahead and say insert. So now we're just inserting a point above this. So we can come down at, um, let's just put a nice big chamfer on there. We'll just be at Z0. It'll be at Z minus 0.05. So let's go ahead and add a radius or a little bit of a chamfer and put a little more character into this hat. Um, let's come up here, we'll add a line. So we can click on whatever line we want. We can hit insert. It will insert a line right above that. So I will come up here and I will say, let's do this 1.4 inch. Um, let's go ahead and change our beginning position here to 1.3. Nah, 1.3. We're going to set our Z position here to zero. Update this guy to minus 0.5. And then I'm going to insert one more line to bring it back up to the 1.4 inches. And we're going to go back to 100. So you just give it a little bit of a chamfer here. And let's see if we can play with this guy a little bit. Let's put a, put a radius on this. So we get a little bit of a female curve on the hat. And as you can see, we can zoom. So it's just using the wheel on your mouse. It zooms to the mouse. Um, if we click on a line, it will jump us and highlight it. So we're on line four. If I click on line five, it'll zoom back out and highlight that line for us. Um, so let's just add another line in here. We'll put another little chamfer. Um, right after line five here. So we'll insert a line. So we'll bring this value down to 1.65. We'll leave our Z value where it is. We'll change our X on the next line to 1.7. And we'll come back a 50,000. So we'll go minus 0.55. You can see we're getting a little bit of a chamfer here. Put a little bit of Put a little radius on the corner there as we go through. So you can see you can pretty quickly and um, in quite an entertaining fashion just run through and create some geometry here. So we'll go ahead, um, load up a piece of stainless steel in this scenario and touch some tools off and make this snowman. We've got our profile all finished up. We've got our block. We actually mounted it to a small little fixture so we didn't have to use so much sacrificial stainless steel. So I have a little aluminum puck that I bolted from the back side to hold the stainless and the chuck. Um, I've got that in the machine, indicated in, and ready to run. So I'm going to go ahead and post out my program, and then we'll just prove it out and, and finish cutting our snowman. You can see our finished profile we ended up with. We played with a little bit more. Uh, we'll go ahead and post this out. We're just going to call it snowman. And you can see that we have our toolpath display here. I did some pretty light depths of cut on this. It's a, uh, you know, we're just building a toy here, so I'm not in a big rush to get it down. I just want to make sure that it makes it through this successfully. So we'll go ahead, machine's in a clearance position, and we'll go ahead and get this thing started. So as, as always, I'll turn my feed and max velocity down to zero, and I'll go ahead and hit cycle start.
ですけど。Well, here he is, our little snowman that we just created in Path Pilot Conversational. Um, it's a fun little project. So, from all of us here at Tormach, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Check out our latest YouTube videos here and subscribe to our YouTube channel here.